हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन डिस्ट मैंगो चैनल गाइज आई एम राम के सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर इन टू डे टूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू अनाउंस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ सीरीज ऑन एड्रेसेबल इयर्स चेयर्स दिस विल बी द टॉपिक लाइक आई हैड डन मेनी टूटोरियल ऑन एड्रेसेबल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट वॉज हिंदी बट पीपल आर आस्किंग मी टू डू अ टूटोरियल ऑन इंग्लिश एंड आई एम गेटिंग लॉर्ड्स ऑफ ई मेल बाई कंपनीज टू जस्ट प्रोवाइडिंग देम टू गाइडेंस ऑन एड्रेसेबल सो आई थॉट आई डोंट हैव मच मोर टाइम टू गाइड अदर कंपनीज बिकॉज आई रेडी बिकॉज आई एम ऑलरेडी इन फुल टाइम जॉब तो आई जस्ट thought that i can share my knowledge on my youtube channel in english so that other people other most of people can take benefit so in this series what i am going to cover in today tutorial we will talk about the load addressable scene in unity and setup then there is a one issue that is the ping material so i will share with you that what happens why it happens then we will check that we have downloaded addressable so it is in our cache or not then we will see we will learn that how we can show our progress bar then we will learn that how we can increase or downloading speed so that will we will discuss and then we'll talk about that how we can work with addressable with photon so there is there will be two topic one will be like when all player in one room then we load scene at one time and the second scenario is that we just enter in room one by one so these are the topics and if there will be any more topics so i will cover so i will uh, dividing in many parts so that our tutorial didn't get much more bigger so if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel if you want to give me support so you can join my channel as well as you can give thanks on that particular video so if you want to ask anything you can also join discord channel as well as you can just drop in the comment box let's start the today video and if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel so the first question is that what is addressable and what is the asset bundle so i will explain first of all what is addressable so basically uh, whatever we create in unit like you can see these are the asset these are the scene so this everything is in your scene that is the asset means whatever i am clicking this is the asset so if your project is smaller so it is not that much uh, complicated but if you have lots of scene lots of asset so what happens that your application size get increase and every asset store uh, provide some limitation like on oculus store you can upload until 4 gb on uh, google play store you can upload 100 mb so there are so many limitations so at that time we come to addressable and asset bundle so you can say asset bundle is older like in starting people were using the asset bundle basically what was happening that we created the bundle of all asset it was getting download like in the pubg you can see uh, they downloads everything uh, in patch file in starting so it comes in acid bundle uh, i really don't know that what the pubg have used because it is on unreal but in unity we have two thing addressable and acid bundle so i am just giving a basic example in acid bundle you download everything at a one time so that is the acid bundle but there was some disadvantages we will talk about in further videos but for now i am saying to you that in acid bundle there was issue like memory management there was issue like that, uh, it have not all the dependency so there was lots of error there was lots of issue so after that unity come with addressable addressable is also like the asset bundle where you mark your addressable uh, like this is the asset i want to mark the addressable so i mark this is the addressable and in asset bundle we were marking in the bottom like let's suppose we are this is the prefab so here we were uh, in asset bundle we were passing here that this is the asset bundle so we were marking them as a asset bundle in addressable it is a different scenario like uh, if you want to know the advantage so you can see it is the flexible it is the dependency management dependency means script or material texture and uh, also menu memory management content packaging so in addressable we have this thing addressable is advanced then asset bundle so in uh, so in current so currently we are using the asset addressable and in future uh, unity will also improve addressable but currently it is uh, really very great than the asset bundle okay and in asset bundle what can happen in asset bundle uh, you have one scene that will be not addressable one scene that will be not addressable but you can uh, make all scene addressable uh, why because in one scene you have to write the code to load all other scene and uh, to all 
other scene and one more thing i want to mention that if you have created all other scene or all other asset i cannot say only scene asset okay so what will happen that if you have created one build and it will launch on the store so basically you can update this addressable build on the uh, s3 bucket or any server that will update in your build so the addressable give you a flexibility that you have to not create build every time of your project and there are some scenario in that case you have to create build like when you are changing in the script of uh, this addressable scene so at that time you have to create unity build and then release on the store and then create a uh, addressable build then uh, upload on the upload on the uh, your server but if you are not making on the uh, script change so if if there is any any asset change so at that time you have to not create unity build you have to create just addressable build and upload on the server then your application will be able to download that addressable hope you are getting what i am trying to explain and for much more understanding you can just follow and read at once about the addressable documentation most of thing i will explain that how you can set up how you can make addressable how you can do this thing i will explain everything so don't worry about it but i want to uh, you that you just go through their documentation so that you know basic what i am trying to explain to you so let's move on the practical work i have explained the theory and first we are going to load addressable scene in unity and then addressable scene in unity first we will set up and then i will show you that how we can use this thing i don't want to create longer tutorial i just want 10 to 12 minutes video uh, what i am going to do in this tutorial that i am going to set up addressable so how you can set up the addressable how we can pass the addressable so first thing what you need you need a uh, your bucket it depend on you that which kind of bucket you have i have a ws bucket and there you have to create your public this is the public bucket so this is the public bucket and you can define your uh, your reason and here is the addressable and then here i have passed my standalone windows 64 why it is standalone windows 64 why it is not android because in the build it, it is window mac if you are on the android so it will be android don't worry about it that how it will be i will let you know so uh, for getting your link what you have to do is you have to upload anything and uh, like i have uploaded and you have to click on here and you have to go on the not pad and just pass here after that you have to go on at this point so this is the point com so you have to go a folder like this is the folder standalone window before this folder just copy the link and then we will use that that link so how we have to use that link first, we have to set up your addressable so for set up your addressable you have to go on the window and currently we are doing this tutorial on the 2022 so that people get much more flexibility because in 2020 that is the different uh, ui structure of the addressable so i thought that i should do tutorial on 20 22 so you have to go on the window and then package manager and in package manager you have to go on the unity registry and unity registry in unity registry you will get addressable just install it now we have imported our addressables okay what is the next step is that you have to go on the window and then you have to go on the asset management here you will get addressable so first thing you have to go go on the groups so click on the groups and here you will get create addressable setting so first you have to create addressable setting when you will click here you will get a folder here so just click here so now we have created our settings addressable setting here okay so you can just close this window and here you can see this is the setting here okay so you have to every time you have to go on the window so to avoid this thing you have to go on the addressable groups and then click here and then give here so every time you have to not go uh, in the window so here we have default local group okay and when you will click here you will get this thing so here we have to set up our link i have already told you that we have to set up our link for remote download people do locally also so if you want to do locally so it depends on you that you can do locally but most of people search for remote so that they can download from remotely their addressable okay so here you can see when you are clicking on that particular group because uh, in in this profile you can create your groups like uh, you have many scenes so uh, you can create groups of s1 s2 s3 so groups play a very important role in future i will let you know in detail that what is the use of group you may define assets your assets scene wise so you can give a group name like scene one and this will be the asset from the scene one then scene two that will be asset from scene two so basically scene one scene two is a group so you can define your group okay great let's 
click here and let's see what is there for for us important thing is local so just click on the remote so here is the remote and here you can see we are getting some numbers build path local path so we have to go here and after clicking that here we will get manage profile so these are the catalog thing we will discuss in the future this is the catalog basically catalog is when we create build basically we create two build one build of unity one build of addressable so when you create the build of addressable so at that time you get some catalogs catalog means of version of your application okay the important thing is manage profile so you have to go on the manage profile this is the interface of unity 2022 okay so here you can see this is the interface and if you are going in 2020 so i want to show you that because if you have work on the 2020 addressable here it is a different scenario so uh, let me show you because you don't get any confusion don't get any issue. so here you can go and when you will go here so here you can see build path load part so here you are able to see this path okay and when you click on the system so here you get this setting and on the manage profile you get thing like this so you can see both you can see both interface is different okay here you can see we have to just pass the link here so here we have to pass remote load path and we just path parse the link build target and here is the link remote build target server build target okay but this thing is different in unity 2022 how it is different here you can see this is the local remote so what we have to do we are working on the here so we have to do on the custom and then here we have to pass the link so here you can see this is the different it is not only build target it is the unity editor so they have improved in 2022 they have improved but people might get confused that what is the difference so here you have to pass the link so this is the thing and here we have to copy again the link just click here and go in the last and paste the link after that you have to pull this so now we have passed the link and then here you can see there have not any changes so what we have to do just copy this link and paste here okay and then after that what we have to do by default you may get this thing here server but if you are not getting so basically you have to write the name so what should be the name it will be server data so you can copy here from here basically it is the location so server data you can type if you want so this is the server data and currently it is build target okay so build target basically it give a build target like you make application on the android window at that time it will work so it was in uh, unity 2020 but in 2022 they have made changes they have used this thing so we have to use this thing so that it doesn't give any error if we are working on the unity editor okay so just copy here and paste here okay now we have passed the link great just do control s and then come here here you can see you must enable remote catalog so if you want to work with remote catalog so we have to on the thing we have to on remote catalog thing so here is the build remote catalog so you have to just on it and here you can see build path is server data standalone 64 why it is showing 64 because we have passed this thing it is getting from the editor because currently if for the checking purpose we have to use in editor so if we will give only build target so it will not work properly uh, it shows the pink material but if you are working here so it will show build target 64 and load path so load path you can see it is showing a proper name aws standalone windows 64 why windows 64 because we have not passed windows 64 it is just getting from the editor it should be a windows 64 so this is for standalone windows 64 if you will convert in android so at that time you have it will show android and you have to upload on s3 bucket of android android okay great control s now we have almost done the setup now you can see we have done the setup here is the link here is the local build path 
so you can do control s and then close this window N next thing what we have to do is just we have to go here and here you can see play mode build so you have to go in the play mode and use existing build if you are creating for remote so you have to follow this use existing build you have to mark this one and then here is the build so update a previous build clear cache new build so if you are creating a build so you have to click build default script so this will create the build but before creating the build what you have to do is just if let's suppose you want to make any asset or addressable so if we go in the prefabs here you can see lots of prefab just click on here and here you will give a toggle button that is the addressable when you click on the addressable so here it will come here you can see column 0 1 when you click here and you will mark there so it will be addressable so there will be created one list not only this asset but you can go here and click on this scene and you can click here so it will also create the scene as a addressable okay after that what you have to do is just you have to click on the make sure that it is on the use existing build and after that you can build a new build but when you are creating the build so it will be created this one why because we are on the this platform so just click here and new default builder build script so now it's creating the build okay it also show the history you can see i have created so much build of addressable so in unity 2022 this is the benefit that you get a proper history of this thing okay so we have created the build and if you want to get our build where it is here you can see we, you will also get the message addressable content successful build so you have to go in asset right click so in explorer and in asset you will give in the parent server data so you can see click on here a standalone windows 64 and here is the data catalog 10 json and here is the one scene we have added okay this is the scene and this is the addressable so we have created here okay so what we have to do is just we have to go on the bucket so we have make this folder and here we are parsing our uh, data because we have passed this link so what we have to do is just go here it depends on you that which build you have created it is a standalone you can create your android so here we have to just put here and then upload so it will take some time after that it will be get uploaded okay so now we have uploaded and uh, it is ready to load in our project okay so in next tutorial that we will learn that how we can uh, load our scene so don't miss to watch that video this video was just setting up the important thing to remember is that before creating addressable build it is important that you pass this link and then create the build if you are not able to pass so that will not work so first you have to set up the link and then you have to get up create addressable build to upload on your s3 bucket okay so that's it for today tutorial in next video we will learn that how we can load our addressable scene in unity so thanks for watching have a good day don't forget to like subscribe and share if you want to support me give thanks on this video and you can join my youtube channel okay so bye bye take care see you in next video